الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد احببت في الله how can we help islam how can we help share islam and the message of islam to the greater world community and to our brothers and sisters in faith one of the most important things with regards to calling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is by first reflecting on the ayat or the surah in the Quran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says after bismillah ar-rahman ar-rahim wal asr inna al-insana la fi khusr illa alladhina amanu wa amilu as-salihat wa tawasaw bil-haqq wa tawasaw bis-sabr Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al-karim by the time Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swears by the time verily mankind is in a loss so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tabarak wa ta'ala makes an absolute statement verily mankind is in a loss that means all of mankind regardless of your race your color your nationality whatever the case may be innal insana la fi khusr then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says illa alladhina amanu he makes it istithna he makes the exception now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lets us know those people who've avoided by uh, being lost or those people who are found so to speak inna illa alladhina amanu verily those who believe so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes clear for us that those people who escape being in a loss are those people who believe and in order to believe you have to have knowledge you have to have islamic knowledge to know what you believe in illa alladhina amanu wa amilu salihat and do righteous deeds so the first thing is believing in allah and you can believe only believe in allah by knowing who allah is by knowledge by gaining knowledge about islam illa alladhina amanu wa amilu salihat and doing righteous deeds wa amilu salihat wa tawasaw bil haqq then calling to the haqq then calling to the haqq so gaining that knowledge believing practicing what you've learned and then calling people and exhorting people to the truth because you have to have knowledge of who you're calling to Islam you know their customs and so forth to know how to better reach the people you need to know about the people you have to have knowledge of what you're calling to meaning Islam and you have to have knowledge of the means and methodology of how to call to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala again that requires knowledge wa tawassaw bil haqq wa tawassaw bis sabr and then being patient upon that path because there'll be many people who oppose you many people who maybe attack your character maybe people who attack you physically and want to take your life maybe whatever trials and tribulations you might face from your family from your uh tribe from your kin from your Uh, cohorts from your colleagues whatever the case may be you will face ups, uh difficulties because that's the minhaj al anbiya that is the way of the prophets alayhim afta salatu wasalam is that all the prophets they face some sort of difficulty they face difficulty with regards to the people who either oppose them in their call in their call to monotheism to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone or they face difficulty from within their people who may have accepted some of their message but there was difficulty maybe they were tried through a test in their health in their wealth in whatever the case may be they were tested and that is the path of those who call to Allah so you have to be prepared to be tested and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all success in setting good examples for the rest of mankind to see the beauty of Islam to see the light of Islam and to practice Islam and we ask Allah the Almighty to forgive us of our many sins anything i said that was correct was from Allah azza wa jal anything i said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam